Hi guys, Miss Nikki here, Miss Morgan, and we're back again for Mini Busters. And this is gonna be for December where it starts getting a little chilly. So we thought we'd make something cool. It's called an endothermic slushy. We've got all the ingredients, little list there going on and stuff that you would need. So it's actually super easy, a little time consuming, but that's okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and start off. I've got apple juice and Miss Morgan's got some seltzer water. Thought he'd switch things up a little bit here. <laughs> so you wanna get your, fill your cup up, probably about halfway. And then we've got a big old bucket of ice here. And just kind of fill it up and try to make sure you just get it all around. Sorry, honey. And try not to drop any in your juice. Yeah, again, the ice is a little noisy. Sorry. <laughs> no way around it, man. <laughs> All right, I think I got one more good scoop here. All right, that looks pretty good. Awesome. And then I have uh, like a coarse kosher salt. And then Miss oh, Morgan no. will have- I got ice in it. Oh no. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> And then she'll have iodized salt. So, oh, I almost forgot it's the most fine. important We're thing. Oh. I need the plastic wrap. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you do not want to get uh, salt in your juice because that'll defeat the purpose altogether. So yeah, just a neat little trick that I came up with. Just cover it up just to make sure. And then you'll just want to sprinkle your salt all the way around. Get it really kind of nice and coated. So, like if you've ever made um, a homemade ice cream before, and I know you use salt and like ice and freezer bag and like shake it up and stuff, probably the same kind of concept here. So, all right, and you got your salt. Yep, the some. iodized. Iodized salt. All right, we'll see what these different salts and effects will be. Nice. <laughs> All right. So the main thing with this is that uh, every 30 minutes you want to stir your juice with just like a little stick or even if a spoon if you have one. Um, but yeah, every 30 minutes for probably maybe two to three hours depending um, if you really want to like full slushy. So all right. I guess we'll leave these set for a little bit and we'll be back. All right, guys. We've patiently waited and now we're back and i did want to mention uh, i didn't say this before i'm sorry i did try this at home but i used uh, like regular ice cube trays it did not work <laughs> i tried it twice it was just not working at all i think it just really kind of prefers the uh, like bagged ice or like chipped ice or even like crushed ice or something like that so let's see what's going on with our slushies oh Look at that. That's a real slushy right there. That's awesome. What did yours do, Morgan? Okay, so mine did not make a slushy, but mine made an ice cube donut. Oh, I would say. oh nice. <laughs> so it's really hard on the outside, but in the middle, right. you can still see that it's yeah. liquid. Oh, man. So you can tell that it's freezing from the outside inward, which okay. is really cool. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you've ever accidentally put a soda or something in the freezer and, um, you know, it exploded, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. that's probably where that was trying to head. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, as always, uh, just remember to have like a parent or guardian with you. Um, and yeah, just have fun. And I think this would be super fun and easy to do. So we'll see you guys. Thanks. Mm -hmm.